Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do step-by-step -step tutorial. It will be a little longer but sometimes I want to mix paints in front of you and because I will use um, Craftsmart, Craftsmart white glue for my flowers today. I will use it for the first time. Uh, Doris from Doris at DF Designs uh, send me that, but not in the original original bottle. She put it in some other bottle, so I can't show you the bottle. But you probably saw that uh, Craft Craft Smart white glue in your Michaels or whatever. Uh, and uh, the one who tried that with this glue is left-brained artist and he get he got uh, beautiful results so Doris sent me this to try to help you maybe with mixtures and everything so let's do that so I will not mix a lot of paints today uh, so I will mix my pouring medium first and I have a measuring cup in milliliters is this in ounces too no this is in milliliters so you basically mix three parts glue to two parts water so I will do 120 milliliters I will just mark it there just to you know so I will do 120 milliliters of glue so this is one two three and 80, co 80 milliliters of water so this will be my pouring medium so let's add this glue first okay it should be it and I already make a mess and water okay and I will mix that to have my pouring medium and I will then mix my pouring medium to my colors in one to one ratio when I use glue mixture, I normally, oh, this is not easy to mix, I normally use one to one ratio. When I use my pouring medium, I use two parts pouring medium to one part paint or even three parts medium to one part paint, but with glue I normally do one to one and then if it's too thick I am I add some water it's not easy to mix this together not used to that with my pouring medium I <laughs> mix together pouring medium real quick it's not a long time but I was a little afraid because sometimes you know temperatures can be a factor in your um, materials art materials if it's they are too cold you can have a problem so when I order my stuff from online now that it's winter here in Slovenia I normally 
have them two to three days in my studio to get the, the normal temperature or how can I say so this is quite thick we will see maybe I will even mix two to one because this is quite thick for my taste We will see. So this is our pouring medium. And first we need something that it will create some... No, for a base. I will do a black base, so... And I will just kind of eyeball this. So this is my... Uh, white... not white pouring medium and some black it is approximately one to one ratio and this is way too thick so I will definitely mix other colors two to one like I normally do So here I definitely have to add quite some water and when you are adding water to glue I'm not you know uh, a fan of too much water in the glue I know that I can add quite a lot of water um, in my pouring medium mixture but not sure for this because it's already a lot of water in the pouring medium mixture so I will pour a little of this black in this little cup because I will use black in my flour too and now I will add a little more water because you want your background to be a little thinner than the other paints so just a little more I hope that this will not be too much should have mix it two to one probably I will do the other colors like that so okay we'll try to show you the consistency focus quite runny my battery will die so this is the consistency for my background and let's check this should be okay for the flower okay black is done let me pour my pouring medium in like that and I will use Windsor and Newton primary magenta and I will definitely not go one to one this is probably two to one mixture
still needs a little water. I have just this little one ounce cups for this part for the colors. I will use 8 by 8 inch canvas so I don't need quite a whole lot. Still a little bit more. So it's definitely more 2 to 1 ratio than 1 to 1 because it's just too thick. And then you have to add a lot of water that I'm a little concerned. So here is the consistency. Leaves a little mound and disappears. Okay, let's do my pearl white. For pearl white I'm using Vallejo Pearl Medium and I will add kind of like that in a one-to-one -one ratio with titanium white by Amsterdam. Oop, probably it was too much white. Not used to these little cups. I will do this in a bigger one because this will be too small. I can already see. And I have to add a little <laughs> more of pearl medium. You, when you are mixing your pearl white, um, it's better a little more pouring medium than, than uh, titanium white because otherwise you will not get cells and I will do 2 to 1 ratio here too. Okay, and I will use this garnet from Extreme Sheen too. And this one probably will go one to one ratio because it is thinner paint. So let's do approximately one to one. And before we will start, we will do an experiment and see if this will sell or not. Okay, so let's do our experiment real quick. I normally grab some piece of cardboard or something you know that you have from your canvases or whatever and I will just add a little bit of pearl white here and some black probably let's see with black 
just a little bit of black and I will blow here in the middle and wait to see if there will be some cells I think that we are okay with the consistency if there will would be um, less cells uh, you can add a little more water so your paint is too thick if there will be too many cells your paint is too thin so um, you can just do that and see what you want and I'm quite happy with this think that it's just enough okay so first we will I have to add my gloves put my gloves on because I will pour my base coat down first and I will show you how I like to do it. So here is my canvas. As I said, it's eight by eight inch. And I will grab my paint for a base. Because you want to have an even nice coat. Otherwise, your pattern will not be so nice so what I do is pour my paint on and then I tilt it and try to tilt it back and my base is too thick I think as much as I can back into the cup and what's left I can still scrape and put it back into the cup so I can see already that my base is a little too thick we will see what will happen now I can't do nothing I will just pour a little more here just to you know it will flow easier okay so this part is done now I will put it on my spinner and clean this a little bit so, as you can see there is not a lot of paint on the surface when you do your base like that so so this will be a tutorial step by step kind of one so it will be longer if you know about all these things you can fast forward but some people you know are new don't know the basics so and this pouring medium you can use for other techniques too, for flip cups, for ring pours. It's basically with all glues 60-40 ratio. A lot of air bubbles when you use glue. 
it's good to you know do it one um, previous day and let it sit for a while if you're using glue and now I will just find my middle kind of even that I do it's not a guarantee that it will be centered sorry I just want to and here is my flower shaped cup it's just a dessert cup that you can buy on Amazon they are really cheap so let's do that so where I want to start I will go with the little black first and now my pearl white and garnet Pearl white again. And magenta. Whoop. And pearl white. black and pearl white and garnet again I'm adding a little less pearl white than other colors and magenta and pearl white again I'm afraid that this garnet will take over so I will leave it out this time. I will do just black and magenta without pearl white here. And this will be it. Okay. I will blow here. And I don't see a lot of reaction. And then I will grab a skewer and draw some lines here, kind of a petal lines. It's not centered, of course. And lift. And I will just leave it like that and I will spray my paper napkin with water it's always good that your paper napkin is bigger than your canvas because you have more control with lifting your napkin that way Okay, so 
so let's put it down first half and the second half okay just make sure that your paint touching is touching touches I don't know the right word the napkin and now you we will lift four corners first and then the other four and try to keep it here in the middle and not don't go too high otherwise you will have some problems with the pattern on the canvas so okay and this one last one we'll just grab all together and slowly lift yay A little different result but I like it have to say so let me torch that and then we will wait for a few seconds to develop some other some more effects maybe But otherwise, wow, I'm really happy with it. It's not centered, but, and if you see some places that there is no background color, you just pour a little more on, <laughs> more on not more on um, it will level out while drying so don't worry about that you can maybe help a little bit but otherwise it will be good and if you want you can spin it but I will not spin this one because it's just beautiful so for those who stayed till the end I like it really do so I will just clean this up a little bit and take you down for a close-up so here is a close-up oh, I really like it so I like those look of veins on the petals or how can I say not crazy crazy about this white around but okay But otherwise, it's beautiful. So hope that this helped you. Please check Doris's channel too, because she 
made this happen that I can do experiments with you and help you with the mixtures that it will work for you too in states and of course left-brained artist too <laughs> um, if you have any questions still you can ask me in the comments but hopefully this tutorial will do will help you get the results that are really beautiful so this was it for today have a nice Saturday and see you tomorrow. Bye!